Chase Young is not a bust. Just, just, just wait. Pump the brakes, Commanders fans. Let's not go after the young guy just yet. What is going on, everybody? Triple Abdullah coming after another video for the channel. Welcome back to the DMV Sports Zone. And in today, guys, I'm talking about our boy, the man, the DMV legend, Chase Young. Before I get into this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content as we try to push out as much fire content out as possible. And let's get straight to the video. Chase Young, man, came back finally after 13 months of him not playing football. He was finally back. The whole injury, the ACL, the there was just the whole knee, that area was just finally recovered, and he looked good out there, man, against San Francisco. The fact that he was going against, going up against the arguably the best left tackle in NFL history, Trent Williams, for most of the reps, great. The one tip pass up in the air could have got an interception, but that was awesome to see that. He was just hustling, man. They were running, the 49ers were running away from him, and he was making hustling tackles from behind. He blew up a screenplay that was going to Christian McCaffrey. So, again, it's very, very encouraging to see this because the guy hasn't played haven't played in so long. And it was funny because Kyle Shanahan told the media before the game that he should wait another week. But he definitely had a game plan knowing that Chase Young was going to play. But the, video, the, the reason why I'm posting this video is because a lot of fans are quick to call Chase Young a bust. And I know it is frustrating, guys, because Chase Young, although he, he got hurt, and before the injury, nine games, 1.5 sacks. You know, you bring up the fact that he leads the NFL in QB pressure and he gets double team, triple teamed a lot. But the reason the re you're, you were the second overall pick for a reason in 2020, defensive rookie of the year, 7.5 sacks. And I think he had six forced fumbles that year. So again, it is frustrating. But at the end of the day, think about context. You bring him in, you draft him, it makes an impact like crazy. Ohio State, electrifying one of the most well-polished defensive end prospects ever. And just the whole idea of rushing him back was just something that I did not like. The fact that fans were calling out his name, saying, where is this guy? Is, is he not want to play football because it's a mental thing? We did a good job of being patient with him. Because again, and I'll keep saying it, this fan base has, and even maybe even coaching staff, but now fan base just is impatient. And I understand the, the the idea of being impatient for this organization and the fans because this team has been bad for so long. So you need to see something. But with Chase, I'm glad we didn't rush it. We didn't want to make the same mistake we had with Robert, just rushing our young guy back. So again, man, Chase, I just think that he's, he's just not a bust, man. It's too quick to say it. A lot of fans, another content creator on this channel, Noah, Awesome guy, by the way. Great takes, fantasy and all. Thinks that Chase Young is closer to Jadavion and Clowney, which, I mean, isn't bad, but second overall pick. Jadavion and Clowney was the first overall pick. Run stopper, Chase Young is awesome. But the sacks-wise, he needs to have the ability to add more moves in his package. The arsenal needs to be expanded. And I just think it's too early to call him a bust. We have to wait. It's two more games this year left. Let's wait. Till next season, this off season is going to be huge. He's going to be fully healthy, and especially if we don't pay Montez, if he goes somewhere else, Chase Young would be number one along with Jonathan and Duran. And I think he'll ball out. I don't want to give up on the kid, man. I have his jersey. It's one of my favorite players on the team, aside from Terry and Jonathan. But again, we don't want to ride him out and call him a bust. The guy. Led the league in QB pressure, double team, opens the game up for the defensive linemen like Jonathan Duran, probably even James Smith-Williams, definitely Abada, John Ridgeway, these guys that are, you know, role players, but find a way to open up and adds, just is a cherry on top for this defense, let's be honest, man. So to call him a bust, it's too early, but again, you just got to be patient. I know it's a lot to say, I know it's a lot to ask for when you're a fan of this team, but... That's the reality of the situation. So that's the video I wanted to make today. I mean, guys, Chase, like, those the rookie plays he had was, was amazing. First game against the Eagles, a forced fumble on Carson Wentz. We didn't get it. But I think he had a four, another forced fumble in the Pittsburgh game on the fourth and goal stop. The game against Joe Burrow, number one overall pick was number two, forced fumble on fourth and goal at the goal line. The Cowboys game was crazy. The scoop and score against the 49ers, he balled out that game. So again, you just just pump the brakes, man. Pump the brakes. Let Chase be Chase, man. I know 
A lot of fans say that he's on social media too much, but again, let the man be, man. Just he's from the DMV. He wants to shine, so let him shine, man. We gotta see guys like the uh, Jonathan Allen from the DMV ball out in the pros, and I think Jonathan, I mean Chase Young, will be one of those guys too, and he'll live up to the hype. We just gotta be patient. He's not a bust, guys. He's not. With that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe for our DMV Sports content. As we try to put as much fire content out there as possible. Follow us on all social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, at DMV Sports Zone. <sighs> Two more games, man. Two more. Let's see if Chase gets a, gets a sack before the season ends. Or a strip sack. That would be awesome. Or pick six. Four, four, scoop and score. Something. Number two overall pick, man. We got to see it. All right, guys. Peace. Take him in.